Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a daily vibes for today, the 6th, 7th, 8th, whenever it resonates. Um, this is just a reading for somebody. It won't be for everybody. This reading might be for you. We'll see. Uh, this is a reading for somebody. I don't know who. Now, typically, my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. <laughs> well, we have a challenge here. We definitely have a challenge with the Queen of Swords. Okay? Somebody is probably <laughs> thinking about speaking their mind. Really thinking about Or somebody has spoken their mind and it wasn't, didn't turn out the way they had hoped. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like something, this is, somebody's about to get cut out by the looks of things. Okay, somebody's thinking about it right now. We're in thinking mode. Am I, what, how am I going to handle this? Am I going to handle this tactfully or not? Okay, right now we're thinking about it. <laughs> how, how am I going to handle this situation? Um... Hmm. Ooh, there's a lot of memories. There's a lot of memories there that are affecting this decision of how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here. There's memories. Somebody's thinking about going back. Somebody is thinking about going back to something they have invested in. And maybe they've invested in it for seven years, seven months, seven something. Um, somebody is thinking about going back. They've been keeping it inside for a while. Going back to their past, perhaps. They've been uh, trying to make a decision. This is what this is. How am I going to handle this? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? There's options. Yes, there is options. Oh, maybe somebody's getting sick of being alone or... Who knows? Let me get this focused. Yeah. Somebody feels like they've lost the the love. They've lost out. <laughs> yeah. Somebody is trying to make a complex. Somebody is in the process of making a very complex decision about love. There's been a lot of uh, investment in this relationship. There has. But it looks with that nine of pentacles reversed that somebody has had a loss. They've had a loss. Yeah, they've had a loss. Their security. Without the love, their security has been lost, right? I mean, I'm not feeling very secure anymore. Without this love. But it does look like somebody's been waiting for somebody to come back. So this is another scenario. Somebody's been waiting for somebody to come back. Gotten to the point where I can't do this anymore. I don't want to be alone forever. I want love. And this is, to me, in this card, it looks like she's been praying for it. She's like, oh, please, I trust. I trust. 
that you are going to bring me. Whatever it is she's speaking of. I'm trusting. Oh my goodness. Yep, there's been some sort of there's definitely been a loss, okay? There has. There's been a loss and somebody is having some regrets. They are. They're having some regrets and it feels like at this point they're they're being brought to their knees. The person that probably walked away has been brought to their knees. But they know, and they know why. They know why. Somebody, yeah, was being dishonest. They didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Oh, they've been lying to themselves. Somebody has been lying to themselves. And the everybody else at the same time. Okay, they've been, they've been keeping a secret how they truly feel. Pretending they're happy. And now, perhaps, they're ready to step outside of their pride and go after their wish fulfillment. But, again, they're very indecisive. This person is very wishy-washy about the whole situation. They don't know. It's a challenge. How am I going to handle this? That is the story. If I do, am I going to get hurt? <laughs> you know, they, they, you, they, the person, this, this person may be like, I don't know how she's going to take it. She or he, whatever. There, somebody has some regrets and now they have realized that the grass is not greener on the other side. That's what I see. They want their happiness back. They want their love back. They want the love that they lost back because everything else is going downhill without this love. It is. Their money situation is going downhill. They're not feeling secure with themselves. They're, they're losing abundantly. Their abundance is lessening without this love. Because they didn't do the right thing. They didn't act with integrity and they kept it a secret. And when you, it's funny, I was thinking about this the other day on the way home. Um, this is the truth. This is the truth. Lack of integrity, lack of doing the right thing, it will bring you bad luck, bad karma. It will bring you if you don't do the right thing. And I feel like somebody is losing abundantly, you know, losing their abundance in many different areas of their life. Because they didn't do the right thing. They kept silent. And now it's, oh, it's, like, oh, it's like a big over. It's overwhelming because it, you can only hide the truth for so long, right? Before it, <laughs> before shit hits the fan. So anyway, um, I feel like, yeah, somebody, let's get some more cards. They're, they're trying to think about how to handle it. What the outcome will be, you know, trying to do the whole nine yards. What if I do it? Will I get hurt? This person is, looks like they could be swallowing their pride because of the memories of the past. You know, there was a lot of happiness there at one time and they invested a lot in the relationship. <sighs> the moon reversed and now they're seeing reality. Okay. It's like it's no longer the illusion that it was. The truth is coming out. They realize the truth. That's hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, they're gonna. That's lies and obstacles being removed. There's, that's removing obstacles. Removing that the well, the swords are thoughts, obstacles, the mental obstacles. Whew. Somebody could be starting to accept the truth. I don't know. I mean, that's far-fetched if you ask me. But it, somebody could be. It, what is this Ace of Cups? There's an opportunity for love here. There is. Somebody loves, okay? There is some love here, that's for sure. And somebody is sick of it. They're, they're not. They're losing without this love. 
Mm, the truth. Oh, somebody has is seen the situation clearly now. This is the the oppor It's like the universe has stepped in and said, "Okay, here's the truth." Okay, here. I mean, here's the truth. Are you? What? You know the truth. I find it hard to believe. I really do. Um, it's really hard for people to speak the truth, but it looks like the truth could come out. <laughs> well, you never know. You never know if it's going to be the truth or not, you know. Um, something is going to be revealed. Somebody is here. There's, I believe that there is going to be a message that comes through that it may come off the wrong way, okay? It may be received the wrong way. You could receive it the wrong way. It could come out the wrong way. This person probably is a little immature that you're dealing with, and they probably don't know how to speak um, things out the way that they should. So when this commu if some communication comes from somebody, realize that they probably don't know how to say what they're saying. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, but you could receive some communication that somebody loves you. Um, they've been watching you. Um, and they've been in denial for quite some time. They've been acting out of a place of ego and self-centeredness. And it looks like now they are coming on. They're, they're making a move. Somebody's taking action. Taking the lead. So there could this could be new love. I mean, it could. But it could be a reconciliation from someone from your past. I can't say that's not the case. It could be. Somebody from the past could be mastering their emotions finally and coming around. But um, I feel as though for some of you, this could be somebody coming into your life. When you drop the burden of the past and, and turn and look the other direction. Stop hiding. For the, This is for new love. New love. What if it's new love? What if it's new love? I think that if it's new love, you could receive some communication again from somebody who has been watching you that doesn't really have the confidence. And maybe that's why they can't speak quick correctly you know because they don't have a lot of confidence and self-esteem so just you may receive some communication that comes off the wrong way try to um be optimistic that's probably a challenge that's part of the, yeah be optimistic be optimistic about the words that come out of this person's mouth because they, they don't probably they're not thinking clearly you know they are they are seeing things clearly but they can't I think whatever's happening, whatever when when the message comes out, it's not going to be said in the right context or whatever the case is. But um, if it, if it could be a new love that comes in that you know messes up your singlehood as well. You know that leaves you no longer being single. Knight of Cups. I mean, it could be. Somebody could be coming in and offering you love. And now, oh, I just looked on the bottom. It's a, it's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice from the past or the new. That's exactly what this is. Do you stay stuck in the past? Do you? Or do you move forward with new love? You probably have an opportunity for both choices coming up. You probably do. You probably do. Somebody is coming out of hiding. Somebody is coming out of hiding. I mean, this won't resonate with everybody because we got a lot of people out there that, that are not. Okay? For somebody, 
somebody is coming out of hiding because they have received some sort of clarity about the one they love. For some of you, there, and this could even be somebody that's been watching you that is brand new. Somebody has, somebody has been watching. Somebody has been watching and waiting for the opportunity to make this offer of love. So whether it's somebody from the past or somebody that's new, there's an offer that is coming in, period. That's what this is. But, you know, you're going to have to unblock it. You're going to have to allow it and you're going to have to make a decision. Do you want to, do you want to be alone or, I mean, there's so, these cards, they can say so many things. They can. I could go on and on and on with this reading. Do you want to be alone or do you want to be with somebody? Do you want to keep clinging to the past or do you want to go with the new? I mean, this can go a million different ways, right? Either way, with either option, it looks like it's going to be, I mean, this is victory. This is transformation. After there has been a situation that was karmic, you know, there's been a karmic situation that has brought somebody to their knees. And it looks like there's going to be some sort of forward movement in this situation, whatever it is. Something is moving in a new direction. There's no doubt about it. Let's get one of these. I don't know if this is new love or not. I mean, it could be either or. The challenge is being optimistic. I mean, that is the challenge. Is how are you going to handle this? You know, are you like I said, the cards could be read so many different ways. But, I mean, how are you going to handle this situation? And that's what the other person is thinking as well. You know? So be prepared for it looks like that there's going to be some sort of decision that needs to be made because there's going to be some sort of offer from somebody that has been watching you. Somebody has been watching you, whether it's somebody new or somebody old. Their offer is probably going to seem a little off. And you're going to have to, you know, figure out a way to discern the situation. You know, master your emotions and hopefully you, you choose the right path. <laughs> Distant thunder. Clear the air. Like I said, I don't know who this reading is for. It will not resonate with everybody. Dramatic purification, renewal, and healing are occurring on many levels. Don't be concerned if there is chaos in your life. In this instance, it is good. It is shaking things up so you don't become stagnant. If your auric field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult for exciting new experiences and opportunities to come into your life. It's time to clear out the clutter. Release the old, discarded, and unused. Clear the air and release situations and people who don't empower you. Purify the dross out of your life in order for renewal to occur. The old needs to make way for the new. On the distant horizon, a storm is brewing, and I can see that a storm is brewing. It's just, absolutely a storm is brewing. Great shards of lightning are thunderbolting to the earth from the heavens. It can feel chaotic, but it heralds a time of renewal. The stun thunderstorm clears the dust out of the air and re-energizes the earth. Be open to change. It's all good, even if it doesn't seem like it. New energy is flooding your energy field. Examine your life and see if there's anything that needs to be cleared, renewed, or released. 
Now is the time. Renewal and even rebirth is, a, is at hand. And this is a transformation card. So I feel like you have, an, you, have an, you have a choice here. You do. You do. You have a choice. You have to make a decision. Do you, do you stay stuck? Do you stay stuck in the past or do you truly move forward? Now this is an ongoing theme. It's time. It's time to head out of this situation once and for all. Replace that fear with faith. It's time to take back your power. Take back your power. Find that strength that's been lost. Assert yourself. Be assertive. I think there's a, an intense truth that is going to come out. That is going to move you in a new direction. Somebody's been watching. For sure. For sure. Whether it's somebody new or somebody old. Somebody has been watching you. And something is going to be revealed. Good luck. <laughs>